Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as New Victoria. Now I played as New Victoria before, um, but it was back with different submods and whatnot, and at this point I'm using so many different submods I'm not sure. Unfortunately though, uh, we do, have, do not have a really unique focus tree, but we have a slight unique focus tree, but we're led by Queen Victoria VI. The ruling monarch of New Victoria, named after her domain as her mothers before her were, Queen Victoria served her people well during her time upon the throne. Although our bloodline has no connection to the Windsors, the ancestry can be traced back to an influential Canadian politician, not considering herself a British successor, but rather a Canadian monarchy. The Royal House of New Victoria continues traditions most have forgotten, as we long live the Queen. Queen Victoria, sixth of her name, has ruled over the, the, our lands of Vancouver Island and the San Juan Islands for many years. Like her ancestors before, she's beloved by, by her people and resolute to one day begin their reclamation. Tribute for the Islands. The throne of New Victoria claims all Canadian soil, and someday it will be ours. Until then, the Haida have a little means of contested rule. Honor the Queen. The throne of New Victoria has long been the rallying point of the people, holding her nation together even as tribes and raiders claim or rans, uh, clans rise and fall to pieces. Today, we celebrate the anniversary of the coronation of Queen Victoria VI. How should we honor our Queen? New, train your sailors. Practice reclamation. Dream of support. Uh, I like that war support. That's a lot of war support. Um, we are 16 combo width, which is not great. It is okay, to say the least. But it's not great. Victoria rules the waves. Ship recovery rate. Well, that's not bad. Two dockyards rule the skies. Uh, the CFB Comics Air Base, built to protect against a threat from the east, served that purpose again before the bombs fell. Royal Air Force planes could spy and destroy incoming raiders and even strike uh, targets inland when the day finally comes. Island of the Northwest, another island of the region, lies close by. Inhabited, inhabited by a group known as the Haida, whose ancestors have lived there for millennia. Reclaiming sovereignty from American occupation after the bombs fell, they've largely kept out of our affairs. Still, Haida Gwaii is once part of Canada and offers another means of striking the coastal raiders. They'll make excellent subjects of the Queen. They seem a capable sort. Give them a chance. Focus on energies of more important matters. Um, How strong are they? I'm sure our guys aren't super great. They have a small little navy. A few divisions here and there. Well, we could try it, I guess. We would have to take a port, you know, to actually do anything successfully. Conscript, Fuel Boy, uh, our Birthright, and go to the Oracle Coast, Erected Palisade. So we do have a generic, uh, Overall Blues, Generic Decisions Revamped, Overall Blues, Second Expansion, Overall, Overall Blues, for the little guys, which gives us this expanded tree and whatnot. Um, new Homes, uh, House People's Happy People, Group Urban Centers, Capital of a Country is reasonably well developed, whether the ma major population centers are isolated and are not strongly connected to any of them, through the countryside. Countryside is full of treasures and ruins to explore. Small communities live there, but are too isolated for anyone to access. Let's change that. Victoria rules the waves. CFP Esquimalt was a naval base for over two centuries, even before the Great War. Built to support uh, naval operations around Anchorage, it holds a wealth of equipment to shore up the Royal Navy. Yeah, we could take that one too. Visibility. Eh, I'm okay with it. We have five research slots, which is actually pretty nice. Could improve country management, cultural advisor, person in the community. Um, anything we really want here? Nothing that we really care about. So probably, oh, look at all this Canadian stuff here, nice. It's not bad, industrial concerns, history, the history program. Hudson Bay Company, that's pretty good too. I love that, I always like to give them a political power and whatnot. But we do have a trade note. Tourists from the mainland. Recently, the people of San Juan uh, Island have been complaining about the arrival of recent tourists. Well, it's level four, not bad. Uh, rapid arrival by canoes across the Puget Sound towards their territory. 
Regional lords in San Juan feel this could end our autonomy of the island, while local merchants feel this could be a big opportunity to give back to the people of the mainland. What should we do? Let them in. Construction basics, not bad. Your birthright. Well, let's keep going this way first. Not sure how this is going to go. I'm gonna save. This may go very poorly. And we're off. All eight divisions are off. Hey, there we go. Tradition wife, you know about this? Please go ahead. I would like more war support. Good. Keep one person there and keep one person here. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house the creatures were for purpose equipment. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Saint Nicholas <laughs> soon would be there. Good. Very nice. Improved urban centers, yes. In this case, you guys just have to hold there. Source production. That's fine. Secret sauce. Good. Good. Help them out. Someone division not here to help out. Because we gotta get up here next. And I want these guys destroyed as fast as possible, basically. Um, we'll go and need someone else. Field commander. Jerome Pettigrew. Ooh, leader experience gain. That's not good. Uh, well, it's alright. Make up or you can become inspirational. Good. Great. Blue from the centers, countryside. Good plan building some labs. Uh, improve country management as well. And down here, we are going to grab Victoria and come up the node. Oh, hello. What are you doing? So check. And we're building. At least we, we would like to build. Alright, so for the countryside, uh, Heretic Palisade. Couldn't afford to target and destroy threats effectively without casualties. Simply don't have the training. As an intermediate measure, until we can better train our military forces, we'll teach them entrenchment strategies, such as mowing fire tactics to keep enemies at bay as well as proper trench digging procedures. I only have six research slots, that's all. Still gonna screw it up somehow, but that's alright. Alright. Could you take out Graham Shaw? They have only one division, and we got naval invasion support too, so. Good. 
game in for me if you don't know about that, please go ahead. Lest we forget. Mass it. Great. By gunsmiths, we must build our military strength. For this, we must produce more equipment. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, we got it. Look at that. And we added their screens to our navy as well. Fantastic. All three ships. And they're not even destroyers. That's good. send you here. I want you to do port stuff. For now. Great. So next, Metro Theorist. Land Doctrine. Yeah. Definitely that person. Well, with what we got, are we gonna buy some gunsmiths? Probably get some guns too. Our birthright. The royal line claims descent ultimately from the last lost notion, the last nation of Canada. Where the royal forces prepared, stand and reclaim our birthright from those pirates and barbarians that inhabit the coast. Absolutely. Let's spend our train first. Reopen armories. We urgently need to expand our military forces in order to do so. Crap. Uh, come on. Uh, I'm expanding industrial capacity. Expand production. We need more and more production. Our workers must be more efficient and faster. Yeah, pretty much. Four and four fronts. Very nice. I don't think going to war with them now would be a smart thing to do, but we, we could be. First, all together. Some civilized tech, yes, please. I'm just worried that Broken Coast will actually nearly invade us, perhaps. Their navy's not too bad. I mean, our navy has to be pretty much perfect. Yeah, 12 to 18. Oof. You know what? We'll go with concealment. So if we were to go to war with them. Do we do anything here? Oh, well, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, 
crap. Our naval XP just... Okay! Not bad. What are you doing up here? Because our naval... Look at our naval XP just shot up like crazy. Woo! Hmm... Army speed gain on kill rate's not bad. Attack and organization. Uh, frontline operative would be good right now, too. Production's good. Uh, salvage new tools. With expansion of our industrial strength, we must be able to also adapt to workers with new tools. What is up with, with uh, the intelligent and whatnot? <sighs> I might just guess what it is, too. We cut these guys off in half. There's another enemy division. We're spreading out. Which is good and all. Still. Giving control of our militia to squads to train veterans while well, officers already have a friendly experience to deploy along their troops, increasing their effectiveness. On the other command staff, I understand the requirements of intense battle better than anyone else. The goal is to circle these guys. Right now, we're slowly getting more demo equipment, which is good. It's nowhere near what we need, but you know, it is what it is. Here we go. Hello? Hey, 12 combos for some. Great. Good job. We have any more experience? Yeah, smoke screen, retreat chance. I don't want retreat chance. Ah. This is fine. I want you to rest and recover. Bring your civilization. Uh, definitely this one. I may wait. Oh, we're going to do your conscription. That's not good. We're going to pour your conscription next.
much your organization or reorganization of your command staff as well as division structuring, will yield increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such measures will allow our troops to fight more effectively and maintain formation long in the face of overwhelming odds, giving time for reinforcements. That's good. As long as you can't win, we'll move down here and we should be okay. These guys are cut off, so hopefully they can't get any supplies or anything like that. That being said, we also need supplies too. You want to attack us? I'm okay with that too. Nice. Work as needed. A little more manpower. Could you take these guys out now? It's 1v1, which isn't great, but you can do this maybe too. Ah. Interesting maneuver. One more soft attack. Really, we need to finish these guys up here. And we need to finish these guys down here too. Local policies. We're not paying much attention to our people, and we should probably not do that. Hello. Yeah, they completely blocked us here. I'm gonna wait then. Use your speed. Our plans. Yeah. Do you need to recover? That's okay. Great. Great. More manpower. Good. Give me Mountaineer. Samuel Cook. Good. The policy. The politics. Uh, I'm not sure drills are next. Board description's fine. That's right. Command. Um, experience gain. We're going to go to the kind mercenary. That's fine. Ah, you know what? We'll make you Prince of Shrouds, Special Forces. I'm gonna take out that group next. I'm gonna put some in this group and whatnot too. Ah, good job, guys. Up quite a few guns, aren't we? Oh, it definitely helps us out. Special forces up there, just lead them too. I need more visions they got. 7 and 14, which is kind of interesting to see that they don't have any more. This is going to be a pain in the butt. We'll have to probably navy when we get down here. They're doing okay about their navy since we destroyed all those task forces, but then again, they keep making more too. Uh, militia recruitment posters. Making our most trained personnel elite units into larger than life soldiers prepared to trade as tough, professional, ruthless, well as make us make effect for pro blah, 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 effective propaganda. Showing those commandos ready to take on and defeat any opponent, we'll both reassure our population and inspire them to listen to the militia. Yay, 19 more, my god. And they're attacking us here too, so. It is what it is. and destroy the organization, that would be great. We might not have the wherewithal wood for it, though. But we'll see. Once these guys are gone and pushing out this way, it'll be much better. Good. Standardized military. Militia are used vast amounts of different equipment, be it farms, armor, even sometimes food and supply. Creating a standardizing base guard and a supply kill simplify our supply lines considerably and reduce the strain felt, felt both during defensive and offensive operations. The 
decode signals. Great. We got them. Very nice. Hangman sound now. What we got here? Like combo destroyed. Nice, nice, nice. Standards military, as long as they're attacking us, that's fine. Old world tactics, inspiration from taking old world terminals and military manuals. We put these improving our armed forces. Old world tactics are effective. If too crude for the wasteland, combining them with a skirmishing and growth strategy as well as survival training will make our army into a capable fighting force. Oh, absolutely. Still had a town, but that's alright. Good. Rats. Force support, please. Ooh. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of convoys. That's very nice. Good. Very nice. Oh, we deleted them too. An absolutely beautiful thing. Well, we are nearly inclined. Uh -huh. Tactical awareness mapping, integrating map awareness and tactical battlefield thinking into the training regimen of a command staff and recon sergeant uh, will make them able to direct the troops more effectively and know their surroundings better. So let them move and strike in rapid fashion as well as organizing ambushes and traps, leaving no respect to the enemy. Great. Uh, you know what? Let the infantry do, deal with that. I want you guys to try to nearly invade from like here to session. Two hundred versus a thousand losses, not bad. Mm -hmm. Plan a wall. Further research into advanced outpost construction as well as streamlined design both integrating into the desert environment and starting up to resist small arms for all those constructing military outposts at a much faster rate to protect our territory force. Just demolishing the convoys. I love it. We don't get all of them. My god, we get quite a few of them. They're still attacking. Good. Oh, you're doing that all the loop stuff. Crap. Well. Hmm. Final other defenses. Briar is a protection of a population in city center. As such, multiple interweaving lines of defense will be established on its outer perimeter. We can allow the enemy to break through to massacre our people and we'll never let them. Our stand will be done here, not one step back. Uh mm, go back. Ah, our population's looking better. Also, oh, we're taking so long with this one because I want to make sure we do it right. And so that uh we can form Columbia. Nice. 
Let's see what we can do. Setting sail enable fleets in an enormous undertaking. However, the benefits far outweigh the costs. Especially as enemies are unlikely to ignore the waters as a means of warfare. So what are we going to wait on? Set sail. Great job. Hello. Ah. Good. We killed them. Capture the warren, very nice. Well, they're not going to move. You might as well. Can we sneak around? I'm seeing ghosts. Look at that. Mass communication. Wardens of the White. Beautiful. Well, psychiatry, that's going along. Ah. Why does Apocalypse come? That's fine. I have a division of their two guys. Doctrine. So many choices we can make. If we're not careful, we can doom ourselves. Yeah, that's very true. Good. We can use the factory output. Now they're finally starting to move around a little bit more. Keep their organization high. Or higher. Encircling these three divisions will be very good. I don't want you to get encircled yet. There we go. Picking our doctrine. Full time professionals. We'll probably go this one. Because uh, we're going well, conventional warfare, anyways. Full time professionals are training. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go down this route. Strict entrance exams? Probably not. An army consequence will merely throw away the lives we can outspare. Full time soldiers will outclass them in every measure. That's right. Oh wait, slash me look up for me. We want basic me look up for me. There we go. Go to the army. Uh, that one's pretty good. Grab cultural advisors. Yeah, it's not bad too. Grab you. Out. Kill them off. Please just kill them off. Romanticism. Corrication is good. Training. So, objecting the recruits to difficulty early on with only one chance to drop out, calls weaklings who won't make it on the battlefield.
go. There you go, too. Give him a fire as well. Yeah, using infantry is not great. That's what we got, you know. Oh, crap. This is annoying. Fighting in this part of the country always is terrible. It's always god awful. Get in there. Good. Uh, standardized kits. Can't well expect troops to march to, uh, to war under equipped. Outfitting every one of them is a duty for factory workers. Have to destroy this infantry divisions. And they have a raider party there too, huh? This equipment is good. I apologize for taking so long, but like I said, it's gotta be done right. And we get pre quarters out of this anyways. Need to take rifles. Yo. We're about to destroy division anyways. Morale. Let us test uh, recruits' behavior in the battlefield with mock skirmishes. They're still operating efficiently, which are to serve examples for the rest. Good, we got everyone in enemy division already. Companies, help settlements out. And we might be able to invade the other tile there, too. Data strategies. Leadership is a critical component for victory. The generals and officers must learn from conflict and develop superior methods of waging war. Come on, you are so close to getting rid of this enemy division. There it goes. Why are they only making screens? Revenant and flames, oh boy. Flyboy, sure. Or oil equipped army. There you go. Ammunition quality control. Can't put a price on victory by rerouting high quality raw material to the ammunition factories. Um, and funding quality inspectors, we can ensure that every soldier can count on the rounds getting down to their target. Thank God, we pretty much got him. Let's focus down here more first. That's weird. Hello? Hello? What are your three places? Game? Okay, that's stupid. Very stupid. 
But alright then. You completely abandoned the line. Okay then. Well, at least we got all that stuff done. More resources. The waste of forgotten surrounds of valuable resources. Hidden away in forgotten ruins. Why not make the most of it? Someday. Uh -huh. uh, build sewing homes. There are people who need clothes, do they not? Sewing homes is best for people to sew clothes. Will make their people happy, as they won't have to rely on finding old pre-war suit. Instead, they can make one. crap out of them. Better. Banner markets. We cannot afford to continue to sell vegetables uh, to meet ends. Uh, we must expand a commercial offer or offering. Good. Very nice. And then they will have nowhere to go. Please recover faster. Uh huh. Uh, Henry Furniture, sure, why not? I don't want to get more population. Sounds like a good idea to me. Rebuild industries. You simply cannot stand in the waste and even have significant industrial strength. Very true. Oh, now you go to war? Okay, you're gonna die then. Navy too. Apologies for taking so long with that one, but all the court is under us, and this is their ship. They're, it's not bad. I'm a little surprised that we they didn't come fight us. Uh huh. Strange, but okay. Also, you see a lot of stuff was already researched, like all that radar stuff. But very nice. Now we're going to form Columbia. We have the ability to claim Cascadia for ourselves. We should perhaps look further back to our past, uh, that piece of so-called British Columbia. Because the next episode we're going to form the Cascadia's best we can. Look at our flag. New Columbia. Very nice. That cost us a lot though. Um, that being said, do we get cores on you guys? We did get cores. That's great. Expands caravan security. It's great to be able to supply our shops and villages, but if these caravans never come, it's useless. Let's change that. 
Economic expert. Oh, that's not bad. More caps income. I like that a lot, actually. There you go. Increased raid tariffs. When you make a profit and never say otherwise, we'll never move forward. Oh, the ally with these guys, though. What's our nomads? So we need quite the large army to take this on. Security, that's fine. Air base construction, our nation could do well with clearing some land or restoring what the old world referred to as an airfield. Perhaps we can bring in trade, and worse, we have free land. Support police stations. In the old world, there are a lot of local peacekeepers, but they're well armed. We can all hope to find the relics. Disassembling weapons. We found many weapons, far too complex. We could try to just disassemble them into something we understand, and relics of war. The old world would seem to be permeated with atmosphere of constant warfare. Perhaps we can benefit from the vestiges. Recruit old caravan guards. More and more commercial convoys pass through our cities. I even noticed a curious thing. Guards of some of them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Promise them a place uh, to stay and work contracts. Uh, then, better contracts than their merchant employers. Well, let's recruit them into our army, bolstering our ranks with trained professionals. Because this is actually a lot of divisions to take on at one single time. Hmm. You may need to rethink this just a wee bit. Because all we have are six divisions in total. Which is not good. Not enough. Analytical philosophy. Train reduction penalties. Base construction. She's there for supply boy. Uh, we should be bringing business too. You should ask foreign companies to come into a country to create businesses. It's time to stimulate our nation. Doctor? The wasteland is full of rough gods, but very few are qualified to cure, for instance. It's necessary to stop this uh, lack. Expand settlement defenses. In a violent world like guards, we must begin a constant guard and protect our towns. Which is also very true, too. Good. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of divisions for this. Um, with that being done, I assume you're going to win your war, so let's get that done anyways. Hire gunsmiths with the dire need for more power pack can be resolved in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation recruiting a gunsmith available into our armed forces. Well, both increase our manufacturing capabilities and bring their small arms experts expertise in, into our ranks. Which would be a great thing. Got some advanced generators, which is great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. More divisions, very, a lot more divisions, very nice. Uh, that's the case. So we could have like a solid front line like this, maybe. Since they are allies, I'd rather just do this to go there. Ish. Subsidizing weapons manufacturers. Um, mass investments in a local weapon space will let them recruit more people, expand their operations, acquire advanced equipment. In return, we'll benefit from weaponry provided at a bulk, reduced bulk rate, and have prior to any firearm batch over private citizens. Establish an armory. Establish a centralized armory building in every city center will simplify supplies, increase the access to ammo, and give a better working space for the military industry as well as emergency location for militia members to go in case of enemy attacks. Are we missing anything? Oh, more guns still. Good. There are quite a few of these guys, don't we? Alright. We need a lot of these, we need three of these, we need at least a full five line of that. Because we got plenty enough here already. Sport it is. Base is downfall already. Not bad. We could settle people down, but we're definitely not going to do that yet. Um, you know what? The Hudson Bay Company? More consumer goods, we can build things more. I like that a lot. All the hang 
loading docks, for some more police stations, all sorts of good stuff here. More well, here. we're supporting the people now too. Our people is our strength. From the worker to the farmer, the engineer to the soldier, they all form the very core of our nation. It's time to give them the political strength they deserve. It's time the common rise up and lead our nation to prosperity, long live our country, the constitutional monarchy. Our people, soon to be subjects of the king, need a powerful symbol to be attached to, while guaranteeing right to the constitution. Reinforce limits. Every monarch within a democracy has limits. We must ensure that they know the limits of the power or reinforcing the ones they control. Thank you, the queen, and a royal guard. A queen has always has brave warriors around them to protect both themselves and their subjects. Let's do the same. A little more encryption, too. And we the people. We the people will lead through the wastes. That's right. And we are just researching as much as we possibly can, as fast as we can, basically. Uh, ensuring that we are pretty much ready for anything that gets thrown at us. We're still waiting to get through uh, making sure we have enough divisions for the front line, uh, which is not looking great because we still have holes in the line, unfortunately. We're still missing quite a few guns. We're working on radios, which is going to be a giant limiting factor for us. So, as we're researching, trying to do okay here and there. Um, but that helps us out too with a few more divisions as well. Okay. Oh, you're, you're actually special forces. Look at that. Uh huh. Well, can I just convert you over? No, we can't convert any of y'all. Okay, so you just become infantry then. Rifling, very nice. Beeline through all that stuff. Very good. So we're really going to get a lot of radios. As we are still building up, I guess, roads. Um, I'll look at some cities first. There you go. So we're maxed out, which is nice. Uh, more population, yes. We're going to split you in half now. Boop. Boop. You just found nothing. What's your problem? There you go. Yeah, let's do that for now. We the people. Um, but we're going to be doing a lot of focuses, such as encouraging women to serve. Everyone should be able to serve. The women of our nation are still afraid, for they think war should be left to men. We'll show them they can be up to destroy the enemy and defend their nation as well. Sniper training, infiltration tactics, sapper drills will kill a raider just as effectively as any man. Uh, fallback tactics. Uh, point of defense strategy. Point of defense strategy is designated as such because it's operating requirements. Multiple camouflage outward outposts and armed with long range weaponry and off the beaten path will both harass enemy troops from afar and give advanced warnings to the composition and strength. Marching drills. While well, I prefer to mark, uh, prefer to as improved physical and tactical drills, the frickin' born walk as soldiers come to call and improve our strategic mobility via better resilience and faster march, being slightly more swift than the enemy will always be an advantage worth having. And long distance movements. Expanding use upon our marching drills. Imagine improve it as to also maintain tactical awareness, combat stances, and proper battle spacing during long walks. As such, our troops are more ready to face an enemy counterattack or immediately join in assault without having to stop and regroup. So whenever our enemies are going to attack us, we're going to do quite well. Collecting air equipment, light helmets. Jumpsuits and training manuals will be a great boon for people. Finding aerial reports. Aerial reports from old Woken up Rio, useful once we start our own Air Force, and lessen the le uh, learning process. Welding steel to ships. As it comes to greater complex, our enemies grow in strength and number. Keeping our ships afloat in the face of the firepower we're coming to face with will require new methods of armoring them. History of naval artillery. We've come across new stories of pre war knowledge related to naval armaments. With these, we can increase our lethality with abandon, let them trouble at our guns. I hate this rock because he was so much political power and manpower, so, uh, metal scrap. The Forgotten Lands of the Wasteland are filled with metallic rubble, cars, signs, etc. Seek water. Toxic water is enough, however, the shelves of Forgotten Supermarkets are full of stored water that is still healthy. Reactivate the generators. Uh, within our territory, there are many generators that are inactive. With a little bit of guile and skill, we can repair them and restore some power. Old wood. Pre war miracle is full of huge, once green forests. The radioactive wood is worthless, however. The wood stored in the warehouses can be useful to us, though. Dismantle old terminals. The old terminals. Old ones use terminals. We prefer paper. Let's dismantle the terminals and do something more useful with these components. And wire treasure. All these wires what for? Let's use it for all the various purposes we need. So, um, I think we'll end it there just because we need a little bit more time to build up our army. Um, crap, you're already out of strength, aren't you? Crap. Um, and we'll try to whittle down their strength, build ourselves up a whole bunch, really try to hold up against these guys. Um, but I think we'll probably do pretty darn well overall. Uh, because of how much extra research we've gotten. So if you enjoyed the first episode of us playing as New Victoria or the New Columbia, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Share out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we continue expanding New Victoria or New Columbia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of...
your day.